passed from Lord Seeker to Lord Seeker since the time of the old Inquisition. And now it falls to me. Are you all right? You look drained. On the contrary, it's a delight. I'm riveted. Oh, you're joking. Do you know what the Rite of Tranquility is? The last resort used on mages in the circle, leaving them unable to cast, but depriving them of dreams and all emotion. It should only be used on those who cannot control their abilities, but that has not always been the case. Deprived of all emotion? That sounds... I always thought it a necessary evil. What finally began the Mage Rebellion was the discovery the right of tranquility could be reversed. The Lord Seeker at the time covered it up. Harshly. There were deaths. It was dangerous knowledge. The shock of its discovery in addition to what happened in Kirkwall. But it appears we've always known how to reverse the right. From the beginning. So, the rebellion could have been prevented. Perhaps, but it was a long time coming, for many reasons. We created the right of tranquility. I told you of my vigil, the months I spent emptying myself of all emotion. I was made tranquil and didn't even know. Then the vigil summoned the spirit of faith to touch my mind. That broke tranquility and gave me my abilities. The Seekers did not share that secret. Not with me, not with the Chantry. Not even with... There's more. Lucius was not wrong about the Order. I thought to rebuild the Seekers once victory was ours. Now I'm not certain it deserves to be rebuilt. If anyone can rebuild them into something worthwhile, you can. But are they worth rebuilding? You could make them worth it. I... will think on your words. Thank you. I could not have done this on my own. I was hoping we could speak privately. Are we not? Right. Of course we are. The flirting. With me. I've noticed it. Unless it is my imagination, which is entirely possible. If it makes you uncomfortable, I can stop. You cannot court me if that's your intention. It's impossible. Why is it impossible exactly? That should be obvious. Well, it isn't obvious to me. You intend to properly court me? You of all people. Is that what you want? No. I take it back. That is what I want. I want a man who sweeps me off my feet, who gives me flowers and reads me poetry by candlelight. I want the ideal. You are the Inquisitor and the Herald of Andraste. You cannot be that man. You won't even give me a chance to try. The world hinges on our actions. We face death at every turn, Inquisitor. That doesn't change how I feel. It changes everything.
Uh-oh, nobody's here. This doesn't bode well. Dorian. Father. So the whole story about the family retainer was just, what? A smokescreen? Then you were told. I apologize for the deception, Inquisitor. I never intended for you to be involved. Of course not. Magister Parvis couldn't come to Skyhold and be seen with the Dread Inquisitor. What would people think? What is this exactly, Father? Ambush? Kidnapping? A warm family reunion? <sighs> this is how it has always been. You went through all of this to get Dorian here. Talk to him. Yes, Father. Talk to me. Let me hear how mystified you are by my anger. Dorian, there's no need to. I prefer the company of men. My father disapproves. Your father might be here to reach out. You could give him a chance. Let's just go. Dorian, please. If you'll only listen to me. Why? So you can spout more convenient lies? He taught me to hate blood magic. The resort of the weak mind. Those are his words. But what was the first thing you did when your precious heir refused to play pretend for the rest of his life? You tried to change me. I only wanted what was best for you. You wanted the best for you. Your fucking legacy. Anything for that. You got a lot off your chest. Can't you give him a chance to do the same? Tell me why you came. If I knew, I would drive you to the Inquisition. You didn't. I joined the Inquisition because it's the right thing to do. Once, I had a father who would have known that. Once, I had a son who trusted me, a trust I betrayed. I only wanted to talk to him, to hear his voice again, to ask him to forgive me. He says we're alike. Too much pride. Once I would have been overjoyed to hear him say that. Now I'm not certain. I don't know if I can forgive him. Are you all right? No, not really. Thank you for bringing me out there. It wasn't what I expected, but it's something. Maker knows what you must think of me now, after that whole display. I think you're very brave. Brave? It's not easy to abandon tradition and walk your own path. At any rate, time to drink myself into a stupor. It's been that sort of day. Join me sometime, if you've a mind.
Ah, the Inquisitor. A genuine luminary of our current circumstance. Please enjoy all I have to offer. The maker, it's the Inquisitor himself. Would you care for a bouquet of flowers, your worship? The roses have been exceptional this season. I was looking for some flowers, in fact. Indeed. For what occasion, if I may ask? For a lady friend. Oh, no, simple wild flowers for you then. I have just a thing. I'll send them to Skyhold, in fact. Rare beauties your lady will adore. I cannot stop thinking of our earlier discussion. You don't actually intend to go through with courting me, do you? I said I would, and I will. I believe you, yet... You don't sound like you believe me. It wasn't a challenge, my lord. You needn't do it simply because I suggested you could not. I happen to like a challenge. <sighs> You enjoy making things complicated, don't you? I want to talk to you about the cure for tranquility. It's not a cure. Not truly. Mages who were once tranquil lose all control over their emotions. They become irrational. Unable to focus. Perhaps that state eventually passes and they can be helped, but it will take time to investigate. There are so many tranquil. They deserve a chance to heal. I would not want news of a cure to spread until we know for certain we can help these people. Once we have that, however, then I will spread the word myself. I'd like to speak with you, in private. Oh? How private? There's a grove just outside of Skyhold. Meet me there. If you're certain... I am. Trust me. On aching branch do blossoms grow. The wind a hallowed breath. It carries the scent of honeysuckle, sweet as the lover's kiss. It brings the promise of more tomorrows, of sighs and whispered bliss. You can't be serious. I can. And I am. And that is the poem you chose? You have a better one in mind? Carmenum di Amatus. I thought this one was banned. His lips on mine speak words not voiced, a prayer, which travels down my spine like flames that shatter night. His eyes reflect the heaven stars the Maker's light. My body opens, filled and blessed, my spirit there. Not merely housed in flesh, but brought to life. Shall we read another?
They will say one of two things about me. That I stood at the Inquisitor's side, his protector and his lover. That it was meant to be. Or they will say I was led from the path of faith by the wiles of a madman. I don't care what they say. What do you believe? I believe you are a faithful man. I believe you are the herald of Andraste, even if you do not. Beyond that, I believe only that you are capable of anything. And it frightens me. I have never known anything like it. I've been with only one other man in my life. A mage with whom I adventured when I was still very young. He died at the Conclave. I will not let Corypheus win. I will not let him take you from me. I love you. Here, tonight. I believe you. It's always wonderful to speak with you. I was hoping we could spend some time together. As was I.